Okay, welcome to a very quick presentation video from us here at Fringy Electronics. We're going to be showing you our latest product, the EasyTune Signal Booster. And what we're going to be showing you today is how to wire it in conjunction with a fairly ubiquitous piece of kit that's in an awful lot of caravans, the status unit. Uh, the unit we're showing here is the purple status setup which comprises this which is a powered active power supply for an active aerial that lives typically on the roof of your caravan. Um, now we are here in Clipstone, uh, sunny Clipstone here in Nottinghamshire where we have a particularly poor signal reception. So, if you have a look from the output of the status unit here, we are running this into a Y splitter. Now, one of the cables goes off to a normal Freeview digital TV set. Very typical thing, something that you'd most likely have in your own caravan. And the other lead, the purple lead here, is going to a fairly flash piece of equipment, which is this very beautiful looking spectrum analyzer. Uh, for those of you who don't have a degree in aerial technology, what this is, is a big screen that tells us all of the TV channels that we'd be receiving. And we'd view those as spikes, which you'll see in a moment. Now, what we're seeing at the moment is not a lot. We've got a lot of noise, just general background noise, we're not really seeing any channels, anything coming through. And as you can see, if you look over at the TV set, I think the TV says it all, really. We have no signal. Occasionally, we're getting something breaking in, maybe a very light, patchy picture for a second or two, but to all intents and purposes, we have absolutely no signal whatsoever. And this could be very typical if you're in a remote caravanning spot, it's a very typical situation you could find yourself in, which would be very disappointing. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to show what happens when you patch in our EasyTune. Uh, ordinarily, you just connect a conventional aerial straight into the EasyTune. But as we have here, and as you may have, an active status setup, what you need to do is connect the output from your status which would normally go straight into your TV and connect it into the socket which we've conveniently labelled Aerial. I'm then going to connect our TV and our spectrum analyzer to one of the outputs of the Easy Tune, just there and what we're going to do is we're going to switch on the Easy Tune. so if I just power it up here nice and easy two LEDs come on now you can see at the moment over on the TV and the spectrum analyzer we don't really have a great deal going on that's because I've got the boost control turned right down at the moment so it's not really doing an awful lot now watch what happens when I turn some boost on you'll see slowly the LEDs will begin to light up and as soon as we start hitting some green we'll get some picture. Here we go, let's have some full boost. And if you look at that, it's magic! There we go. We've got a fantastic clear TV picture with no breakup, no interference. Wonderful picture. And if you look over at our spectrum analyzer just here, you'll start seeing each one of these individual peaks is a TV channel. And you can see we've got loads of signal rocking in now. And if I just very quickly turn down the easy tune, you'll see that starts to disappear, and so will the signal. The signal will start breaking up until we've lost everything altogether. Turn up the boost, and up come those channels, and up comes the picture. It's as simple as that. So hopefully you can see from this quick video we've done here, if you have any reception problems whatsoever, one solution, the Fringe Easy Tune. It's simple, it's easy to use, and it's available from us today.